For this review, I'll be discussing the meaning of life. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. What comes to mind when you first think of dogs? Probably not Richard Adams' novel, The Plague Dogs. And yes, when I say Richard Adams, I mean that Richard Adams. The one who wrote Watership Down. All the world will be your enemy. Prince with a thousand enemies. And if you've seen or read Watership Down, you know this will not be your ordinary film. The film The Plague Dogs, as you can imagine, explores the phrase dog-eat-dog -dog world about a dog's fight for survival. So let's jump right into this. Okay, so if you saw my Fantastic Planet review, you may see some similarities in the comments I make about how we treat animals. But other than that, they are both obscure, beautiful animations. That's where the similarities stop. This film is cruel. This is not a Homeward Bound or Milo and Otis review, and before anyone starts accusing me of it, no, I don't support PETA, I don't exactly support animal rights, and I do eat meat, and I do approve of animal testing. This is a film review, not a thesis on my beliefs. Warning, if you do love animals, this film is shocking. The thing that I find most refreshing about this film is that it treats its audience like they're adults which is very rare of American or English-speaking animated films. And when I say English-speaking, I mean English-speaking. The Japanese have been making heart-wrenching emotional films for years. Also, this is Grave of the Fireflies. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. And no, my next review won't be this film. It's hard to see the number 732 as a coincidence. PETA and other animal rights groups have compared the death of animals to the death of Jews and other people during wartime. 731 was a human research testing lab in Japan which tortured human beings for medical information. I don't see this as a coincidence or very subtle. Yeah, I could only find the Spanish version of the film, but I find these kinds of comparisons outrageously offensive because I don't think of animals as people. But for the sake of reviewing this as a film, since the filmmaker thinks that, I'll treat these as real characters. I wanted to do an in-depth review of this film anyways. Remember, this film is heart-wrenching. I don't think they do it because they think you're bad, Ralph. There must be some reason, mustn't there? It must do some sort of good. Just as soon as I think of ways to lighten the mood up, I'll I'll let you know. <laughs> this film is all about the subtlety. The dogs escape by jumping into the incinerator and having a flashback? I avoided the very easy to make Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory incinerator joke, but just give this scene a moment and listen to the music. Tell me if it reminds you of a particular street. In this scene, it's revealed that the little dog with a bandage on its head became a stray when his owner was hit by a truck. I mean, this movie just keeps layering on the smiles. The dog 
so much for the budget. Ah. Oh. Oh yes, and they really do use the incinerator to escape. As the tension builds to a point which is absolutely insane. Damn the white coats! Damn you all! Masters are different, Ralph. You will see what I mean when we found one. This is one point the film tries to make, oh, that God, people are mostly that. good. What then? There must be. There are the houses. I knew they couldn't have gone far. Come on, Ralph. We're all right now. Both of the dogs have different ways of approaching people. Ralph just seems to go about his business, but the little dog seems to think if you're sweet and suck up to them, they'll take care of you. My master used to throw sticks or a ball. They like you to run about and do things. This man uses sheep instead of sticks, that's all. We'll show him. Well, they ruin the sheep farm because they get the wrong idea. The little dog offends the sheep dogs by accusing them of not owning the sheep. Ah, they'll be tourists. They. Ralph, if we don't find food soon, we'll die. I'm not going to die. Not without a fight. Who are you going to fight? There's no one here. I'll fight this. But we'll have to change. Change? Change to what? To what we used to be. Real animals. Wild animals. <laughs> ah, shining style editing. Finish it off later. Come on. Where? I don't know, down there. Into that valley. Sometime that night. But if the door had been fastened. Throughout the dog's adventure, the narration switches to the humans that lost them, and yes, the dogs killed the sheep. Uh, Mr. McClure, I have a crazy friend who says it's wrong to eat meat. Is he crazy? No, just ignorant. You see, your crazy friend never heard of the food chain. Have you got no brains in your head, you great nit? Remember, sheep, chickens, and geese are not anthropomorphized in this movie. But foxes and dogs and some other animals are. Remember, dogs eat meat after all, and we wouldn't want to sympathize with the sheep. At sensible bites! Alright, Lisa, if you don't want lamb chops, there's lots of other things I can make. Chicken breast, rump roast, hot dogs. Now, on their journey, they run into a fox named the Todd. And yes, I'm not going to make a Scrubs joke here. Anyways, the Todd is a streetwise fox who teaches them how to live like wild animals. Todd! Todd! Wait! Not too early for you. Too early is always too early. If you haven't guessed, since their escape from the research facility and since sheep have been turning up missing, they're starting to be hunted. There's a particularly heart-wrenching scene where one of the hunters out hunting the two stray dogs comes across the Jack Russell Terrier. Because the little dog has been so optimistic and sweet about humans, he approaches him and one of the most gut-wrenching scenes I think I've ever seen in an animated film happens. Come on. Come on, then. 
Yes, that's it. Come on, Will. Come on. That's it. Oh, come on, up we go. An animal cannot commit a crime or be charged with a crime in the state. Exactly. Is it possible that the dog, you know, knew what it was doing? That I don't know. Jump under a truck and the sky will fall down and all the men will... Oh, and just to make you more sad, the little one has daytime hallucinations, post-traumatic stress, and starts to go a little schizophrenic. <laughs> We'll be back to the lab after the incident with the police. Nothing about goodness work or bubonic plague. They're testing the bubonic plague on, on dogs. Why? No, no, why? The Todd warned us. I don't care what the damn Todd said. Come on, show Todd some love. I hate showing Todd love. As you can imagine, for this type of film, a heavy snow sets in later in the year. And now, because they've been linked to having escaped from the medical research lab, they're now a major news story filled with fear. The reason it's called the Plague Dogs is because the town fears they might have the plague. With the help of these photos, we... There's little enough dignity we've got left. Now back to the horror. Oh, throughout the film they continuously cut back to this monkey who's still in his cage at the research lab. I don't know why, but I guess it works. Earlier in the film, the Todd was killed by some of the hunting dogs. I spared you from that. Towards the end of the film, the helicopters corner the dogs on the end of the beach, and Smitter, which is the name of the little dog I finally found out later on, thinks he sees an island, and at this point you can't tell if it's his hallucinations or not. Get you there. And then they disappear into the fog. And that's the end. I'm going to be honest. The end of this film almost had me to tears. This is one of the best buddy films I've ever seen. And one of the best, you know, cling on to hope films I've ever seen. It's beautifully atmospheric. And I wish if the Disney Corporation had more balls were to ever tackle a novel like this, because, let's face it, if they did it, more people would see it. Despite some of the World War II references to animal and human testing, which I can't help but see the undertones in this film, I 100% recommend it. Imagine one of the most serious and intense war plots of any film, but just imagine it with animals. Go ahead, Nikki. Go ahead, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, bad example. Oh.